What's going on everybody? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with not one, but two Gigantamax Pokemon with that Sandaconda and Senta Scorch right here. Both of them rock out with trap moves so we can pester this battle for long periods of time. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, or if you just want to support the channel, make sure you smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, we are pushing a thousand subs. Thank you to everybody who has supported the channel. Rocking in that front spot, we have this Lapras with Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Psychic for Coverage, and Rest to Heal Up. We can actually get free Rest Off if we're in the rain because we have that Hydration Ability, which is huge. Have Leftovers on Slappers, heal up a little bit mid-battle, survive a little bit longer. It's going to be nice. Then we have our two Gigantamax Pokemon, which are awesome, both with Trap Moves. The Sandaconda has the Sand Tomb in his G-Max move, and the Sense Scorch has that Fire Spin. So, like I said, in the beginning, we're going to be able to Pester and do some damage throughout the match. Then we have one of the best leads in the game with this Sableye, Rocking that focus sash so it will not die first turn and prankster so it gets first turn priority with quash fake out to get some flinches knock off take away items and taunt to kind of counter a lot of things and counter sleep teams with it uh trick room teams if we can taunt the trick room user that'd be beautiful that would be beautiful then we have this gigalith who actually works very well with this save light with explosion right here we have explosion on this thing and its item is normal gem if you guys do not know what a normal gem does is for only one move and one move only one normal move i should say it boosts it for 50 percent of damage so when we pull off that explosion 50% increase in damage, and it's going to wipe out a tons of Pokemon. And it doesn't affect the Sableye, so it will only hit both the opponent's Pokemon. Rocking in the last spot, we have this Heliovis right here with Choice Specs with Bolt Switch Discharge. Grass Knot and Hyper Voice definitely a great Pokemon to bring onto the field as it is very fast and it can deal a lot of damage. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely try it out and let me know in the comment section how you do with it. Also, let me know for question of the day, who's your favorite Pokemon to lead? Who's your favorite Pokemon to start off with? I really do like the Sableye and Galvantula. I think Galvantula is one of my favorites, so let me know what your guys' favorite leads are. But guys, this is the team. I'm hyped for it. I'm really hyped with it. Never used a team with two Gigantamax Pokemon, so let's hop onto the ladder, try to get some ranked battle wins. Let's go, guys. Going up against a Sleep Team. Sleep slash Trick Room Team. Hopefully, we can counter it and get off strong. I'm hoping that. We're going to go into our Sableye right off the bat. Do we go with our Gigalith here, too? And just punk an explosion. We could totally do that. We could totally just punk an explosion here. That might be the call. Let's go Gigalith here. Bring in our Scent Scorch. We go Scorching. Or do we go Conda in? Or we could go with both. I don't want my Helio skin here. He's not going to do too, too much. I'd rather, I'd rather have my Lapras. Go Lapras, bring him in the back. And then Scent the Scorch or Sandaconda. What is the call? What is the call? We're going to need something to do work. Up against that. Oh, my Lapras just worked up against that right here. So, Scent Scorch is going to come in here. Potentially put the burns on him. Uh, actually, we should have went into the... Uh, <laughs> we should have went into the Sandaconda. But I want to show off the Scent Scorch here in this first match. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Genes25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. Come chat up. I'd love to see you guys there. But who's he going to go into? He goes to that Butterfree. I don't mind giving it a fake out. I don't mind. That's Cop slash Torkoal. That's fine. He's going to get that free trick room off. I'm going to set up these rocks. I'm going to set up the rocks right off the bat. And I'm going to slap on that Torkoal with a little bit of a... Uh, with a little bit of fake out. He's going to see we have a normal gem. The drought's going to pop here. I'm going to need to get this Torkoal out of the way. You know the trick room's coming. Like, we know that for a fact. Oh, uh, fake out. Yeah, we're going to go fake out here. Give that a little bit of ma. Uh, rocks? Rocks or explosion right off the bat. Let's go rocks. Or... Or we can take out the drought. Now our sense scourge can work well in the drought, so we're gonna we're gonna keep the drought. We're gonna keep that drought. Hmm. I know he has the Charizard. That's a tough question. That is a tough problem. I'm gonna get this rocks up and then potentially go into a sandstorm because we're pretty slow ourselves. Our Gigalith, not even gonna lie, our Gigalith is pretty slow himself. Now, if he wants to roll a Trick Room, that's fine. We'll change the weather up. We will change the weather up. I don't want to go into explosion just yet. I really do not want to. Fake out's going to pop here. Sorry, Torkoal. Mwah. No attack for you, buddy. We're going to get these Stealth Rocks up. We're going to get these Stealth Rocks up. I mean, these guys are really slow, actually. Both these Pokemon. The Dusk Ops is slower. But Nightshade comes here. Okay. It's fine. I'm going to go into a Sandstorm, man. I am going to go into a Sandstorm here. I'm going to knock off your Evo Light. I'm knocking off your Evo Light right here. I'm going to change the weather here. Change it up. No more drop for him. You're not bringing in that Charizard. 
And then our what's called is going to come in here. We're going to knock off that Evo Light and not even have to worry about that Dusclops too much. Because that Evo Light is what gives him that defense boost and have him huge over here. He's going to knock off. Get out of here, boy. Give me that Evo Light. You don't get that. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. Sandstorm comes out here. No more drop for you. I can see him potentially swapping out his Torkoal. We're saying, we're saying not bad here. Not too bad here. We're playing this one very, very well. Solar Beam comes out. Now he has to absorb light. Now he has to absorb light. He's going into my uh, Gigalith. Now do I exploit him? Well, Trick Room comes out here now. Trick Room comes now. Okay. What's his dimensions? Hmm. What is the call now? What is the call now? He's going to get this off. Do we have Protect? Do we have Protect? I know we have Explosion. I mean, I can't quash it and go into an explosion. <laughs> I can knock off his item. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to knock off his item and go into a... Uh, I don't want to explode. I kind of want to swap here, but then I don't want to swap. Because we know the solar beam's going to do a lot of damage. We know the solar beam's going to do a lot of damage. I could swap into him. Hmm. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to keep our Gigalith alive here. Because that will one-tap my Gigalith hands down. We're gonna come back, we're gonna knock off the Torkoal's item. He might be spec. Oh no, is he spec? Is he spec? That'd be huge if he was spec. We can just leave him there. Let's see, the solar beam comes out here. We should be able to eat that up, no problem. Yeah, see, beautiful. Beautiful swap by me, actually. Lovely swap. Memento's gonna come out here and go on my Scorch. Which is fine. Which is fine. That's gonna drop our stats. Now we can swap back into the what's it called? We can swap back into. The Gigalith, and potentially go for an explosion here. We have the rocks set up. We have the rocks here. And whatever Pokemon he throws out here is not going to do too, too much damage to us. Oh, he was spec He was spec Dang, we did him a favor there. We did him a favor there. And whatever Pokemon he sends out here next, we're going to swap back to our Gigalith. Go into an explosion from there, because the Trick Room is going to help us out here. Trick Room is totally going to help us out. But he might have a... What's it called? I can always quash it. I can always quash him. That is tough. That is some tough news right there. Hey, that is some tough news right here. Tough, tough, tough. What are we going to go into from here? We can't quash. We can't knock off. I kind of want to knock off whatever this Gastrodon's holding. But that is exactly what we're going to do. And then we're going to go out into the Gigalith. Do we go? No, we're going to go into the Lapras. We are going to go into the Lapras from here to kind of do some work. That's the plan. We're going to go into the Lapras and try to soak up this. Uh, he probably might go for a water move on us. So we're just swapping and playing very, very well right now. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. Okay. We're chilling here. Earth Power comes out on my Lapras. That's still going to do a decent amount. Eh, not really. Good call by me. And he's going to go into a Muddy Water. That's fine. We should be able Can we eat up both of them? I'm waiting for this Trick Room to end. Eat a Sable. Oh, Sable Eye does not eat. Now we bring out our board. Now we bring out our board. We bring out that Gigalith. I mean, we have the Stealth Rock set up, right? Yeah, Stealth Rock is out here. I need that Torkoal out the way. Oh, no. Who are we going to bring out here? What's the call? What is the call? I mean, Free Strike is going to do work. We're going to go into a freeze try on the Gastron. This is closer than I thought it would be. Very close. Uh, I want to go into my Gigalith, but then I don't want to go. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I mean, we are special defense. Like, look at his EVs right here. Yeah, we could totally eat up some of these moves. So we're going to go into a Descendant Scorcher. Save that Gigalith. We are saving that Gigalith. I really want to go into an Explosion, but then I don't. I do, but then I don't. Because like, we don't have that Sableye anymore. Now we're going to Dynamax and put that Max. Uh, we're going to put that little Tomb on him. And then we're going to go. Do we go Freeze Dry or do we go for that Torkoal? I say we take this thing out. I really do say we take out the Gastronaut. That is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get that Fire Spin on him. Who are you Dynamaxing? That's your, my question. Are you Dynamaxing your Gastronaut or are you trying to set up that Flare once again? I think he's going to try to set up that Flare once again with the Torkoal. Nope. Gastronaut pops out here. Going for the Water Moon. Gonna go for that water move, which is huge. If we can set up rain, we can go into a free rest with our Lapras. We can go into the free rest. Well, let's see, how, how is this gonna play? I know he outspeeds with that Trick Room. I need that Trick Room gone. I need that Trick Room gone here. Hmm. <laughs> and who do we have in the back end again? We have that, uh, that Gigalith, which is rather slow, but he's a defensive tank. He is a defensive tank. I see him having that Charizard. I, like, I know he has that Charizard in the back end. And he just wasted his Dynamax. Solar Beam's gonna pop here. He's gonna start charging that up. That's fine. He's gonna start charging that up. You do not have Max Flare. I was gonna say, you do not have Max Flare. Um, I see us eating this up. I really do see us eating this up. Yeah, see, we eat that up. The rain comes in. 
The rain comes in. I'm a max guard next turn. I'm a totally max guard. Get that free rest up. Do I rest here? Or do I protect? I can double protect. Like, I know what's coming. I can double protect. Free strike comes out here. Does some work. Does some work. I'm going to double protect next turn. And just let this, uh, this fire spin do work. I'm just let this fire spin do work. Because if we double protect, the fire spin's just going to start ticking away and keeping it good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we get the leftovers. No, the max guy. We know the max guys are coming. We have the spins, and we have the spins. So we're sitting pretty. We are sitting pretty. And while this rain's rolling, we can eventually go for a rest. But I kind of just want the spins to do its work right here. And we can wait out the trick room. So max guard. And they protect. Oh, we are not protected. Uh, is rest the call? Is rest the call? Is the trick room up? How many turns left in trick room? One. Hmm. Uh, we're going to go for a rest. We are going to go for a rest here. Even though I think we're dead. Even though I do think we're dead, but once this trick room ends, we will be able to outspeed. Max Guard comes here, because I know that Max Geyser's coming. Ooh, I'm scared, I'm scared. Here comes the Solar Beam. Man, I thought we had Protect on us. I thought we had Protect. Eat this up. I don't think you're eating this up. I think she's dead. Oh, she does! Her special defense is solid. I really did think she was dead. And beautiful, we get that free Geyser. Free miss for him. His fire Spins are coming out, and we get this rest, and we wake up automatically because of our hydration. Yes! <laughs> Oh, we're sitting good, ladies and gents. We have that stealth rocks out in case that Charizard pops here, too. Look at that beautiful hydration comes out. We are playing this very, very well. Very, very well. No more trick room. We're going to outspeed with both of our Pokemon here. Outspeed with both of our Pokemon. Lovely. Lovely. No more trick room for you. And what do we go into from here? Good drop. Special attack. Um, I'm going to just go into... I mean... Now, nah, we'll go into this. We'll take out this Gastron here. And then we'll go into a... Let's go into a Psychic here. Psychic's a better option. Considering Hydro Pump misses, misses a decent amount. Misses a decent amount. So I'm not going to risk me missing a Hydro Pump and end up losing one of my Pokemon. It's just not worth it. But beautiful, beautiful. We were thinking about going into that explosion all game long. We ended up just like neglecting it. We are like, you know what? It'd be, easy, it'd be better off for us to go into Stealth Rock, change up the Drought to not let that Charizard come in, and just play our game. Working out great. He has one more Pokemon left. And I think it's just the Charizard. Without the drought in the rain, it's ooh, terrible. It's terrible. I and mean, I think we have this one in the bag. We have this one in the bag, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, look at Santa Scorch's body. It has like a movement to it. You see like the little particles running down his back. It looks awesome. Here comes the Charizard in the rain. Not good for him. And look at that Stealth Rocks damage. Beautiful. No Dynamax for him either. I think he's just going to cancel out here. I think he's just going to cancel out here. We're just going to go into a Bug Bite. A little bit of Bug Bite. And a Hydro Pump in the rain. Bye-bye, Charizard. Game one in the books. You cancel him. He is going to cancel. Beautiful. Guys, honestly, we played that match so well. One of the best matches I've played, hands down. Okay, another meta team here. Can we go 2-0 against the meta? Can we go 2-0 against the meta? I love beating these teams because they're just so annoying. They are just so annoying. It's like the same thing every single time. We're going to be leading that Sableye and that Gigalith once again. He might go for a Tailwind. Might try to get the Drown up. I think that's his plan. I really do think that is his plan. So we're going to go them two. We're going to bring in the Santa Conda this time to show off that. And then we go with Heliolus. Mm, Heliolus doesn't really do too, too much here. I think the Lapras would be a lot better call. I think the Lapras is such a better call. The only, the only damage Heliolus does against is that Charizard. Is the Charizard. So I think it's just a better call for us to just go straight into that Lapras. Let's go. Let's get this win here. That last game was awesome. Definitely a very well-played game by us. We made some nice reads by swapping out. Made some nice calls by taking the weather away from him. Which I think we're going to have to do that again. I have this Giglet in here in case I want to go for an explosion. In case I want to go for an explosion. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. I want to get these stones set up. Who's he going to go into? Is he going to charge our squad right off the ripo? Nope. Whimsicott into Gastrodon. The Gastrodon here. We're going to fake out that Gastrodon. Hands down, we're going to fake out that Gastrodon. And get these rocks set up. I'm gonna get these rocks set up. Fake out on the Gastrodon. We get the rocks going. Get the Stealth Rocks set up here. We get going. Can we get going? Because Stealth Rocks just does so much work, especially if he's bringing Charizard. Now bring him down to half health. Right, just like a little bit, a little bit of snap action. A little bit of build, but build. The so fake out comes out. Flinching the Gyarados. We know the Tailwind's coming in here. I was gonna flinch him, but I think he was coming after my Eagle. Uh, so now we can quash that thing, and we could potentially just go into an explosion here. Stealth Rocks are popping. They are popping. Lovely. That is lovely. We can bring that one Scott down to a Focus Sash. Do we go into the explosion here? We can knock off a Focus Sash. Ooh, this is... No, we're going to quash and go into the explosion. I got to show it off. This guy, it does some work here. 
We did we did what we wanted. We honestly did what we wanted. We got our rocks up, and now we're gonna deal some damage here. Quash comes out. Hopefully that uh that one Scott. Oh, it goes for a dazzling gleam. We should survive here. We should survive. My Sableye, I knew some Sableye would have survived, but I knew he was taking a lot of health there. A lot of damage there. This will not affect my Sableye, which is beautiful. Explosion animation is gonna pop out, and then our normal gem is gonna pop off here. Give it a 50 percent damage increase let's do some work yes look at that damage that is exactly what i wanted bring that squad down right off like that just take out him early he probably has that uh what's called in the back he probably has that what's called in the back he's gonna go take us both out here which uh, i'm kind of fine with i am kind of fine with maybe we should have done one other thing maybe now he was coming after he would have took out my gigalith like that like nothing he has no trick room set up here i'm gonna dynamax here i'm gonna dynamax my uh my sandaconda and we're going to double into this Gashadon. We're going to double into this Gashadon. We're probably going to take out both Pokemon here. We're going to get the... we get the G-Max Sandblast started here? Let's see. Or do we get the Sandstorm started off just like that? Or we can boost our defense. We could boost our defense. What other Pokemon do we think he's rocking? Probably Special Attackers, right? Oh, yeah. Special Attackers. Uh, defense isn't really going to do too, too much here. Um, what would be the better call here? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we could boost our defense. Kind of help us out a little bit. We could get the Sandstorm rolling. Oh, uh, what's the call? What's the call? I mean, we have spit up too. We have spit up, just huge. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm just going to the G Max Sandblast in case one of us miss. In case one of us miss, it will help out in the long run. Then we can just go for a uh, psychic over on the Gashadon. That's fine. We're chilling. We're gonna double into the Gashadon here. They are gonna outspeed us. They are going to outspeed us. Like we know that for a fact. Hopefully he's not rolling that Charizard in the back end. He's gotta be rolling the Charizard with that Torkoal, right? He's gotta be going Torkoal Charizard. Come in with that drought after we take out both this Pokemon here. He's gonna come in with that drought and probably do some work on us. That's tough. We just have to be able to, uh. Well, he has no trick room, but the Charizard is probably gonna outspeed us. Which is, uh, it's tough. Charizard just does some work. Big tears are gonna come out here. We should have protected. That would have been huge. Don't we dare fake tear us. We were going to drop our special defense harshly, and the skull is gonna pop out here. You should have did it to my Sandaconda. That would have been the smart point. Bruh, you are so lucky. This dude is so lucky. The Sand Spit's gonna come out here. That's fine. Like, whatever, man. I think he did lower our special defense to try to take us out. He's gonna try to get us, like, out of here. He's gonna need our Lapras out, because I think he has, like I said, I think he has that, that, uh, what's it called? The Turco and the Charizard. But that does not take him out. Good thing we did double into that Gastron. Good thing we did double into that Gastron, because the Sandstorm will take away, and the Sand Tomb will take out that, uh, what's it got? I want to get off another one of these to get some more Pester damage going. But what is the call? We know the Turco's coming out here. We know it's the Turquoise Charizard. Like, come on. You cannot say it's not the Turquoise Charizard. But we do have the, what's it called? We do have the Stealth Rocks up, which is huge. And of course we get burned. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? The burn comes out here. Lucky duck. What is it, like a 30% chance? Like, that's the same, like, percent of a one-hit KO taking us out, right? Charizard comes. Don't dare show me. Don't dare show me Torquil. But watch this. Oh, the Torquil comes out. No, not the Drought. Not the Drought. I wish we had a Quash going. But look at that. Nice little stone edge damage there. Nice little stone edge damage there. Um, what do we go for here? What, what's the plan here? G-Max Sandblast on you. Hands down. And Hydro Pump on you. Right? Like, I don't care who he's going with. We're going to do some nice damage here all around. We're going to do some nice damage here all around. Then we go to a max guard. So I hope he actually goes after my Lapras right off the rip though. Hope he goes for my Lapras. Not even gonna lie. He's gonna Dynamax his Charizard. Might be G-Max. I hope he does go for my, uh, my Lapras. Because hopefully my Sandaconda can take out the Torkoal in one hit. Take him out. We are Soul Festival. We can potentially eat out a little bit more. Set up the Sand Tomb. Go into Protect and just let the Sand Tomb just do some work. But the Drought's scary, man. The Drought is scary. It is terrifying. It is terrifying, actually. Let's see what happens here. The Max Overgrowth. Go on my Lapras. No, nope, my Santa Con. Eat it, buddy, with that soul vest. Oh my lord. Jeez, we're gonna lose this one. This game is over with. This game is over with. He's gonna go into a solar beam here. Actually, I think we can eat up a solar beam. Not even gonna lie. Sand Spit's gonna come. That is beautiful, Santa Conda. That is beautiful. Before you go out there. Oh my god, dude, that Charizard hits like a truck. Can we take him out here? Can we take him out? No more drought for him. So if that thing goes for a solar beam, it's gone. Let's see. Okay, he's going to lose some HP. Hydro Pump comes. <gasps> no! No! Are you serious? We missed that attack? 
That did a heaping amount of damage. Jesus. GG to that guy. GG to that guy. Good game from him. Wow, dude. Our Hydro Pump didn't come off, but we would have lost it anyway because that Heat Wave took us out in one hit. Okay, so we went 1-1 one one with this team, which is actually solid considering we face two of the top meta teams in this season. Like, it's always that Butterfree, the Vile Plume, the Drought, and the Charizard, or the Trick Moon. Like, doesn't that get old for some people? That's why I like playing these teams. If you like to play this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. I highly recommend it with these two Gigantamax Pokemon. Tons of fun, pretty strong on the ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.